has come in from an Erica Jones, and it reads, Dear Andy and Ian, new balls at each World Cup. This time it's the Adidas Brazooka. For or against it, Ian? Well, I've got no real problem. I think the only thing with the, the ball is you want a good ball that is true. Not everybody loved the, the Jabalani ball. I think that's out there. That's in the public domain at the last World Cup. But these footballs, they're just part of the, the intrigue and mystique of a World Cup. This brazooka, everything I've heard about it is good. The players who've tried it out, so here's hoping for the best. I've had a, a, a kick about with this ball. Have you? Now, I don't know whether it's my skill or the ball, but I scored some amazing goals. Uh, you chipped Joe Hart, didn't you, one day? <laughs> yeah. Very warm welcome from me, Clive Tilsley. Andy Townsend is with me for a qualifying match on the road to Rio. This will be interesting, Clive. I'm really up for this. The sun is out here. It's uh, a lovely day for it. Oh, perfect conditions, Clive. The players lined up for the playing of the anthems of Ghana and Somalia. See if they can put a run of results together and pick up another three points from this match. Momentum's all important in this competition. Yep, be nice and tight at the back, get the ball down in midfield and take your chances up front. The West African nations were particularly strong in African qualifying and Ghana are always strong. Yep, they are. They're a physically imposing side with real individual ability as well. Sooner or later, a team like Ghana are going to win a World Cup for sure. The uh, referee is Greg O'Milland. <laughs> Go on and kick off the first half, a game that's really got everyone talking. And an update from the game featuring uh, the Germans. They've gone ahead there. Vital interception there. There was danger developing. Neither about to give the ball up. Well, they'll have to try to find a better pass than that one. Issei. latest on the Armenian match they've taken the lead in that one Saeed Saeed in Coombe. Views from the Israel match. They just got their noses in front in that one. Abdul Kadir. Mohammed. Possibilities here. Oh, four marks from the keeper. I don't know where his defence went, but he did his job. It's a genuine chance. Oh, he's missed the target. On the foot, maybe. Yes, if it was on his stronger side, Clive, he'd have scored there. Well, that's awful. I sincerely hope his shooting improves as the game goes on. An update on the Ukraine match. They've gone in front in that game. Saeed. Might have a chance. Oh, wasted chance. Just on his wrong side. Hey, time to practice. Get both feet going, Clyde. That was a lovely chance. Unlucky. Kept his head down. Struck it beautifully, but just wide.
Munim. Good interception, alive to the danger. There's an offside flag raise, it'll be a free kick. An update on the Lithuanian match. They've got their noses in front in that one. Well, he was only just offside, Clive, but he still had plenty to do from there. Munim. What a chance! Got his team out of trouble there. SCN. Now Asamoah Jean. Gian. Promising attack. Real chance. Great work for the goalkeeper. Did so well to get that away. And news coming in from the game involving uh, Germany. They've scored another now, and they're two goals up. There's a threat here. What can he do here? Oh, and I thought they'd taken the lead there. That's unlucky, that's a good effort, that's just wide of the post. This is not a manager who's afraid to change things. He puts a lot of emphasis on using substitutes to make an impact. Use of the Georgia match. They've gone ahead there. No need to panic, easily away. Here's Kevin prince Borte. Couldn't keep it. Not easy to get through. Has he found someone? Dangerous cross. Defenders there, though. Issei. Good defending. Off they go. Back to the dressing rooms with the score at nil-nil. Both teams are pretty mean at the back, Clive. It's going to take something special to break these sort of defences down. An update on the Israel match. They've managed to score again, and they're now two up. We're seeing a change here. Well, two changes, actually. Two substitutes are stripped off and ready for action. Atsu. Michael Essien. Issei. Chance, maybe, kept out by the keeper. Oh, it just needed a sure finish, and they would have had the lead in this game. Yeah, keep the ball in that scenario. Don't just give it away like that. He takes some stopping, doesn't he? This is the latest on the Malta match. They've taken the lead in that one. Gonna have the ball, advantage play. Ref deserves a lot of credit, actually. He let it go initially, but there was no advantage, so he's given the free kick now. Well, it's up to the manager to make the big decisions. He wants to win this match. He thinks this substitution can do that for him. Borsar. Good defending, but not the best of passes. They've broken up, and possession changes hands. 
Well, intercepted that, saw the danger, dealt with it. Look at this now. Corner one by Garner. Scrambled away to safety. Kazakhstan match they have found a goal from somewhere they've got one back Sharif Mohammed what can he do here good save did well to keep that out the trouble cleared Look, play there, had to make the interception. Gian. This is the latest on the Bulgaria match. They've just got their noses in front in that one. Mohamed. Ise. Offside, I'm afraid. I think he knew it. Couldn't check the run. Uh, just needs to check his run there. Don't go too soon. You know, the last thing I expected here was a close game like this. You know, you play against teams like this and it just drags your performance up. This is an evenly full contest. An update on the Republic of Ireland match. They found an equaliser from somewhere and they're on terms. Andre Ayew. Ise. full of surprises but this is threatening to become a shock they are punching way above their weight here hey, deep breath lads you're right you're in front now don't throw it away well this team soaks up pressure well and then when they release this fella he is off like a rocket what a great finish that is he's coming in at the uruguay game they've managed to find an equalizer in that one it's all square gonna have men forward Opening here, terrific reactions. In Coombe. Oh, look at this for a chance. And news coming in from the game involving uh, the Ukrainians. They've got another goal there, and they've got a healthy lead. Never quite sure how they work out exactly how much time to add, but we're about to find out. SCN. They haven't given up. They're not out of this yet, but this may be their last chance to force an equaliser. Raheem. There's just no stopping them. They've got that winning habit, their 100% record maintained here. Can't ask for more than that. Not at all. They've performed to the max. Every one of them has done their job today. They deserve to win. Andy, thanks for all your insight. We'll no doubt see you again before too long. Bye-bye. Well, today is obviously the final day of the qualifying campaign, Ian. Some sides are there already. Some have no chance of qualifying. There's places up for grabs. It's going to be interesting. Decisive day, isn't it? The D-Day. Uh, fasten your safety belts, I'd say, at this point, because these final games will decide who's going to make it 
all the way through to the World Cup final. So, uh, big, big day. OK, so plenty more to discuss. We're going to take a look through all the papers in a sec, but first, time for a quick break. I think it's fair to say, in Wayne Rooney, England have got one of the best players in the world on got to his prove day. It now, though, hasn't well, he? I was going to say on his day, and we've not seen his day yet at a major competition. Well, not at the World Cup. If you remember, very when he was very young at the Euros, then he, hit he it started off. You are right. brilliantly. Yes. He really did take the tournament by storm, and then he got injured. But for one reason or another, since then. He hasn't quite been able to really advertise his talent. And, and you wonder whether this year's World Cup might be that time. I know he thinks it's time. He showed glimpses of that kind of level of, of form that he needs to keep producing at club level for Manchester United. I just wonder if he can take that to the international stage. He needs a bit of help from the players around him to do that. But this time... There'll be so much publicity and hype around him again, but he has to be not just the poster boy this time. He has to go out there and actually deliver, and I where, think. where would you play him for England? Probably just off the striker. That's the... Hello, I'm Clive Tilsey. Alongside me is Andy Townsend. Well, let's see if they continue the form which won them their last match. The uh, team look good at their best, but this is a, a different match. It may be a different story if they're not careful. Yeah, they mustn't get carried away. They've just got to do exactly what they did last time round. That's being professional and take their chances. This is the latest on the Liechtenstein match. They've gone in front in that game. Coming under pressure. Chance here. Keeper blocks it. Andre Ayu, Atsu, opened up for him here, off target. critical of players missing chances because you'll want them to keep on getting in those situations now a tactical change or just fresh legs it's a, a substitution that the manager hopes will impact on the game in some way or another can Carlo make something of this possession squandered this is the latest on the Finland match they've got their noses in front in that one so Somalia, they're looking good and set to go for another victory after their win against Ghana. Well, that was a good 1-0 victory. It may be tougher today. I think they'll lose, you know. Tackle that wide. He's played through. Oh, keeper reacted quick. He's tried his luck. He's gone. Oh, yes. Delight for the home fans. Their team are in front. The only surprise is that it's taken so long, they have a constant goal threat. Well, the goalkeeper's been under constant pressure, hasn't he? And I'm afraid he's succumbed there. That one had to go in. Score now then, a 2-0 on aggregate. Sharp in his brain and very lively on his feet. He reacted quicker than any... Look at that. Oh! That's not going to tell the keeper. Well, clearly he's got ahead of himself there, Clive. I think he thought he was going to hit the back of the net and he just lost all concentration. the latest on the Serbia match. It's been an equaliser in that game. Good contest. Abdul Kadir read that well. Smart interception. Gonna have men forward. Could be a chance. Now yeah, can't get the ball forward here. Michael Essier. Didn't get a challenge in. Oh! Oh, and he's not even hit the target. Well, it's all down to uh, the accuracy. You're not going to beat the goalkeeper if you're going to strike the ball like that. That's not good enough. And a score coming in from the game featuring uh, the French. 
They've gone ahead there. Atsu. Substitutes fail to make an impact, they take the blame. When they do well, the manager takes the credit. Lots of players panic in this sort of situation, Clive. Watch this, not this guy. Takes a good first touch and coolly dispatches it into the net. Tell you what's happening in the uh, Argentina game. They've taken the lead in that one. He knows where the goal is, doesn't he? That's two for him already. He's really in the mood. That makes the uh, aggregate score 4-0. That's another great finish, Clive, and it just shows the difference between these two sides. They're a goal for part in class. This is the Republic of Ireland match. They've equalised in that game. It's level. Borsar. Sorry for them, they are being hopelessly outplayed and outscored. They're in the mood here, in the mood to score one or two more, yeah. I think they know they've got a grip on this game now. Oh, I think they realise there's goals for them out there today, Cliver. They're looking very strong here. The aggregate score is now 5-0. This is the latest on the Austrian match. They've just got their noses in front in that one. Andre Ayew needs to cross, but the cross finds its way into the hands of the keeper. SCN. Attack broken up. Atsu. Trying to harass and hustle him here. Hassan Barba got caught with it. Michael Essien. Atsu. Opportunity here. It's the end of the first half, and maybe the start of a, a real suspense story, full of surprises so far. Well, I've not been that impressed with the visitors up to now, but you know what? There's no need to panic. You'll get opportunities to stay in this game and you might get back in it. going to make full use of his available substitutes, bringing on two of them here. This is the Bulgarian match. They've got another goal in that one, and they're now two up. Oh, it was dead for him again. Couldn't score this time. Really surprised he didn't knock that one in. That's miles off the target. If you're going to shoot, you've got to be accurate. Kadir. Khalid. An update on the Azerbaijan match. They've gone in front in that game. Abdi Karim. Rahim. Abdul Kadir. Good 
combination play there. Abdul Kadir. Not able to keep the ball, it's loose. Got a chance. And they scored. No more than a consolation, but they have scored. You just don't see football like that every day of the week. Love it, Clive. One, two touch and a beautiful finish. Great goal. It's the kind of scoreline many predicted. It's 4-1. That'll make them feel a bit better. Maybe they've been a little overawed here, but that's something to remember the game by. Just goes to show, if you have a go, if you're positive, look what can happen. Yes, in the France match. They've scored another now, and they're two goals up. Possibilities here. Good tackle now. Who's available? Raheem. Pass picked off now. Can they put some passes of their own together? There's a change here. Ghanaian sub coming on. News of how uh, Costa Rica are getting on. They've taken a grip in that game, extended their lead. In Coombe. I don't know what's up with this fella at the moment. He's, uh, he's a shadow of himself. He's way below par, Clive. I can't believe the level he's produced today. May lose it here if he's not careful. Put his foot through that clearance. Keep you updated on the Chile game. They scored again there. That's a healthy lead now. <laughs> Defended well. This has been a, a rather one-sided game, I'm afraid. You can't see anything changing now. Keeper's got it covered, no problem. on the Turkey match they have got another goal and they look well on the way there Andre Ayu good position here having a go oh what reflexes we're down to the last two minutes of this game Borsar can he do here keeper stopped it well he did well that time yeah just about got behind that one Clyde but he's not had the best of days has he it's becoming business as usual for a team that's getting used to winning games they're going to take some stopping in this form not that's another many, good win Clive, eh? I tell you it's like a speeding train rattling downhill they're getting better and better Andy thanks for all your expertise we'll see you again at the next game all the best And when you're talking about the major rivalries in world football, you have to put into that bracket England against Scotland. Of course, these aren't the two biggest nations in the world, but closer to home, it's that big a game, isn't it? It is, and uh, there's there's a lot of bad blood there. If you go back to Sir Alf Ramsey, I think that there's the famous story of him landing in uh, Glasgow in the plane with the England team, and a, a member of the Scottish FA stepped forward and said, welcome to Glasgow and welcome to Scotland, Alf. And he said, you must be joking. You know, that goes back a long time to when the, every dressing room had a few Scots in it as well. Yeah. And um, Is it irrelevant what sort of form the player's in? Not just necessarily this 
this sort of, you know, rivalry, but any major rivalry in world football, is it irrelevant what the standard of football is like, the form of that side going into the game? Does that go out the window? No, I don't think game? it does, because I think you know, good teams and quality is always going to count. But you know, Scottish fans will forever, forever talk about how they went to Wembley after England had won the World Cup and, and yeah, won and, beat the and, World and played England off the park and... and, and tore down half of Wembley in the process as well. So, you know, that was a huge red letter day for the Scotland fans. But England have had one or two decent successes themselves. It's a, it's a, it's a great rivalry. Um, imagine that one at a World Cup. We saw it at Euro 96, didn't we? That's right. The great, right. The great Gaza, Gaza goal. flipped it over, Hen Henry's head. Yeah, what a goal that was. What a celebration that was as well. And Scotland played pretty well that day. They'll tell you they, they probably deserve something from the game but never got it. Loads more coming your way right here on EA Sports Radio. We're going to have a quick break and then more discussion about the football.